The buttons are on this side and I can't do that. So we're just gonna pretend that the buttons are on the left. <laughs> What's up everybody, how you doing today? Welcome back to my living room, welcome back to my crazy life. It's the CEO of Messy Hair and Heartbreaks, how you doing today? So... Today is very exciting. Today and yesterday, forgot to mute that. Today has been, the past few days have been super exciting because I didn't think I would re be receiving as much feedback as I have received. Like, I didn't think that me starting this back up was going to get such an amazing feedback. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who has been giving me support the past couple days and for liking my facebook page which is right here links down in the description also follow me on my instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok those links will all be right here and in the description below so anyway today i am going to be getting back into this whole youtube thing with a get to know me tag challenge video Special thanks to YouTube Society at youtubesociety.com. I'll have the link in the description. And they do all kinds of different tag challenges they have, like different holiday challenges, other get to know me things like this. It's an amazing website. And if you want to know more about yourself or tell more people about yourself or you are an aspiring YouTuber like me, go ahead and check them out because it is totally worth it. So let's go ahead and jump right into this tag. So question number one is where did you grow up? I actually grew up... 10 minutes east from here, I grew up in a small town called Noble, Illinois. I lived in my mom and dad's house with them. I just moved out recently. But yes, I grew up in a small town called Noble. And I'm not sure of the population, but it's not very big. <laughs> the second question is, where do you currently live? I live about 10 minutes from my parents' house. I live in a town called Olney, Illinois now. Um, I always went to school here in Olney, so it's not like it's a drastic change or anything. But yeah, I'm about 10 minutes from where I originally grew up. Who was your first best friend? My first best friend was a girl named Danielle. We met in third grade. And we, one day at recess, we just decided to start swinging by each other. And we asked each other, you want to do this tomorrow? And we both said yes. And then we swung together for the next three years. <laughs> or I guess it'd be the next two years. And then we were best friends all through middle school and through high school. And then sadly my senior year, uh, we disconnected. And we very sadly haven't been friends in a long time. And I miss her very dearly. And I've we've tried reconnecting, but Sometimes people just lose that connection, and it's okay. I miss her very dearly, and I do still love her very much, but sometimes things just happen, you know. Question number four, how tall are you? I'm five foot six and a half. <laughs> very specific, but very true. Dogs or cats? Question number five. Well, it depends, it depends on the day. <laughs> um, whenever Jay who's hiding over there, is not taking me off, <laughs> it's Cass, and then, it's all, I always love my Loki boy, he's my dog, so, I don't know, it's really a tie, but Jay can get on my nerves the most, so, number six, funniest moment throughout high school, okay, so, not very many people know this story, unless you were there whenever it happened, and I know some people that are involved are going to be watching this, and I hope you remember this memory as well as I do, um, it was the beginning of my senior year, and we had just gotten done with something band-related. I'm not sure what it was. I think it was either after a rehearsal or it was, like, right after school or something. But my ex-boyfriend at the time was sitting in the back alley by our band room in his truck. He was sitting in the back of his truck, the bed, with a bunch of his friends that were girls who he was hanging out with to make me mad at the time. And so me and my friend Emily decided, okay, well, let's do something to try and get their attention and try and take them off. 
So we very stupidly <laughs> decided to play chicken. <laughs> And she got in her car and she's like, okay, I'm going to just very lightly tap you to get their attention. Well, she, she tapped me. All right. At this time, I probably weighed like 115 pounds. I was not very big at all. I was very, very tiny. And so she hit me and I literally flew onto the hood of her car and she drove me down the rest of the alleyway. <laughs> And like, it was like, whoa, what the heck? They thought it was really cool. I thought it was really cool too because I was holding on for dear life and we rode the rest of the way down the alleyway. And it was so much fun, yet so scary and terrifying at the same time. Oh, look, look who decided to come say hi. Say hi. <laughs> He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> All right, number seven, what year were you born? I was born in 1999, I'm a 90s baby, barely. Number eight, are you in or have you gone to college? The answer to both of those questions is yes. I got my associate's degree in 2018 and I'm in my last semester now of my bachelor's degree. So I'll be getting my bachelor's in May and I'm very ready to be done. <laughs> All right, number nine, what is your favorite drink? I get, it really depends on the day and what I'm feeling, but it's definitely either sweet tea, quit stepping on my keyboard, or Big Red. <laughs> All right, number 10, what is your spirit animal and why? Cows. Because they eat, they sleep, they run around when they want to. I'm a cow. <laughs> 11, you're wearing perfume. What scent is it? It is most definitely Cactus Blossom from Bath and Body Works. Best scent in the whole wide world. It's amazing. Number 12, tea or coffee? Well, I just answered it a second ago. Most definitely tea. 13, what are your life goals? Right now? Ow. Stop. The answer to that question right now is I don't know. If you would have asked me that question a year ago, then I would have been able to tell you exactly what I wanted, exactly what my life plan was. But 2019 really just kind of hit me like a semi truck. <laughs> like it hit hard and it was a, it was a rough year. And so right now, the answer to that question is I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Have any books you've read changed your life? Uh, yeah, actually. There's a book I read called Girl, Wash Your Face. It is such an amazing book and it made me just feel so much better about myself. And it's just really all about empowerment and being able to pick yourself back up after struggles. Number 16, what is your favorite movie? Lilo and Stitch, all the way. I've got Stitch and Angel over here. They've been knocked over because of my, of my jerk of a cat. But yeah, Lilo and Stitch all of the way. 17, who are your favorite YouTubers? This is so easy. Shane, Jeffree Star, ooh, James Turner. James Turner, definitely, if I'm feeling like a, like the gamer side of me, definitely James Turner. But like, just like YouTubers in general, Shane and Jeffree, all the way. 18, do you speak any languages and how well? Well, I obviously speak English. I can speak Spanish. I almost minored in Spanish, but it was just so overwhelming that I actually quit. So I can moderately speak Spanish as well. And I can sing head, uh, head, shoulder, knees and toes in French. <laughs> but that's about the extent of my languages. 19, are you single or taken? I'm very, very single <laughs> right now. I've uh, been single for nine months now. It's been different, but I am okay. 20, what is your idea of a dream date? Honestly, this is gonna sound super cheesy, but anything under the stars. I've wanted to have a date under the stars again. <sighs> Cause the first one was just so perfect. Like I would just love, 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 love to have another date under the stars. Number 21, how long was your longest relationship? Um, it was two years and nine months. Almost, so two years and eight and a half months, actually. How would you describe your fashion sense? Um, comfortable and all over the place. <laughs> really just kind of, I'm very 
I don't really have a style. Like, I just kind of like, oh, this is comfortable. Like, right now I'm wearing an Adidas t-shirt and uh, leggings. So, comfortable. It, we're going to go with comfortable. What's your go-to hairstyle? Natural. <laughs> Brushed. <laughs> Uh, I just, I definitely just kind of let it go all natural, but if I am going to do something with it, I'm straightening it. How many siblings do you have? I have five siblings. I have four sisters and a brother. So yes, five siblings. What's your go-to fast food order? Depends on where I'm going, but a burger of some sort, definitely. Do you use PC or a Mac? Mac featuring Billy the Panther. Don't you love me? Don't you love me? Don't you want to be loved? Look at his face. He's like, help. Hi, Anna. I have acquired some visitors. I told you he's a jerk. <laughs> Alright, 27. Your most memorable vacation memory. Probably my first like actual like family vacation. We went to Disney World whenever I was nine. And or maybe oh no, I was eight. It was definitely I was definitely eight because we went in two thousand and seven. It was so much fun, like being able to experience something like major like that, being so young. It was just a really great experience getting to be able to grow up with. Twenty eight, what are your morning and evening routines? Well, in the morning I wake up, I do my hair, I put on some makeup if I'm feeling like it, I get dressed, I go and take care of my animals, and then I either head to work or to school, depending on what day it is. And then evening routines, it's basically the exact same thing backwards. I take care of my animals, I take all my makeup off if I wear makeup that day, and then I hop in the shower usually, grab something to eat, and then watch YouTube and go to bed. That's, like, that's pretty much it. Unless I have homework and then I do homework during the evenings and afternoons too. 29, do you have any bad habits? Yeah, I do. And I have the scars to prove them. Uh, I uh, developed anxiety in high school and my anxious tick is picking at the sides like this right here. And so I have scars from that. And so, yeah, that has been my anxious tick is just kind of like picking at my skin right here. It's really gross, but that's definitely my a bad habit of mine. And the final question, tell tell you one thing about me that you wouldn't know. Oh, I have one that not very many people know. I have a secret talent. I can wiggle my ears. So yes, that is that. And this is only part one. There's a whole second tag that I'm planning on doing. If you guys are into that, go ahead and leave me a comment below if you would like to see part two of this tag. Also give it a big old thumbs up if you liked part one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon right beside it so you know whenever I post videos because if you don't, you're gonna miss out when I post. So. I thank you all very, very much for coming to check out my channel and like, coming to learn a little bit more about me. I hope you choose to stay and hang out for a while. So anyway, I will see you all in my next video. I appreciate you all. Remember to be your own hero and I love you so very, very much. 